Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. I am Ori, and welcome back to EU4 and the Restoration of Room campaign. In our last episode, we accepted our uh, good friend Deli's call to arms against none other than the Mighty Ming and Nepal, but... Oh, excuse me. That doesn't matter. <laughs> Nepal's already dead. Their troops are already dead. Nepal is fully occupied. Ming is the big power here, so... Uh, yeah, I'm very excited. We get to go fight Ming. This is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, we also have Ghost Renaut, uh kind of playing a little backfield for us. We have 108% uh, overextension, so we do kind of need a stack to cover the backfield for now. And we have Hemi Dodge and uh, Parafrost spearheading the assault, uh, the southern front assault. Not too many troops here overall. Most of our allies' troops are funneling up to the north. We do have Swirt up here with a 40 stack. So we're gonna have, we'll just uh, have to see how this plays out. I'm excited. First things first, let's get a spy network on Ming for that siege ability. Absolutely want that. Uh, what else do we need to do? We have claims on Transox. Oh yes, we have plenty of claims on Transox. We're gonna go ahead and uh, ally Hasa and subjugate him. And I think, Honestly, as helpful as Bulgaria has been, I think we're going to go ahead and just integrate him, honestly. Because I'd rather have Hasa as a march to feed, like, all of this and kill off a lot of nations we have a ridiculous amount of aggressive expansion with. That would be uh, rather nice. So, I think... Uh, let's see. Right now, we're making quite a bit of money. There was a comment on the previous video that uh, these trade power edicts aren't all that economical. And, I mean, that might... Mm, well, I don't... Re you know, I would like to conduct a test to figure that out. But, at the same time... What if we assign a Pasha here? Sure. Yeah, look at that. Haha, -ha, that costs like no money now. This is a fairly recently integrated state, so the autonomy is pretty high. We're still coring some of it. The autonomy is fairly high here in Basra. Nah, we'll leave it be for now. I really, like, I mean, since we're going to war with Ming, I really don't want to um, play with the economy too much. Because we, we need our economy to be as strong as it is. I mean, right now we're getting 73 ducats a month, so I don't really want to mess with that. Let's check out the overextension. We need a bit more admin. We need a lot more admin. Hasa, yes, I want that. Um, royal marriage, worrisome. Uh, and we're just going to improve relations with you now. All the way up to um, 190. Because we haven't improved with you at all. So this is going to be just fine. Almost down under 100% overextension. We should be with uh, that. I didn't see this event. I mean, it's not, well, it's not like our inflation's that bad. It's at 2.47, so that's not bad at all. Deli, go kill the Transox Rebels for me. Oh, Deli, you got your, uh, you, you, you got stomped, buddy. GG. GG, Deli. <laughs> Get wrecked. Okay, so. Gout has already fallen, actually. That was my bad. Where are you guys headed? They're heading to Banglo her let's see if we can't uh move to intercept oh yes oh yes hemi go <laughs> charge ming has some reinforcements in the area let's get a quick quality check shall we war enemies up ah, it's even the ming golden era come on ming what are you doing man Oh, land maintenance. Here, let's just fire this guy. We'll fire this guy. Uh, let's see. Building-wise, I will build the production currently. I think beyond that, I'm not going to really touch it. And let's see how this battle goes. Uh, actually, real quick, check advisors. See if we got somebody better. Nah, national manpower and fort defense. We're going to fire them both again. Oh, oh. Let's watch the carnage. Hemi dodge slaughter. Oh. <laughs> there was a Ming 40 stack there. What happened? What happened? Okay, go. Continue. We must reclaim uh, Beer Hand. From, uh, well, Ming sieged it down. Let's see, where is Swart? 
Where did we send Swert? All right, he's here in Corla. I think we're gonna go see about engaging this Ming stack. That's a 60 stack, honestly. Bengal is funneling in reinforcements. Swert, I'm gonna get you to force march. Bengal is reinforcing. This is not the uh, ideal fight. Oh, no, we're not even gonna be able to get there. Um, Let's see here, what is this province? This is desert. I wonder. Let's find out. Good luck, Swert. You're on your own, buddy. All right, so that takes care of that. Our, our backfield is clear. We're going to bring in Ghost or Not on the southern front, honestly. You, you want to go, Ming? You, you really want to do this? You re... <laughs> um, Ming, are you sure? This is your last opportunity, Ming. Are you sure that you want to do this? Ah, oh, zone of control, boo. No, Hemi, why have you left us? Why have you forsaken us? Rip. Well, we need to get a new commander up and on the go very quickly out there. Let's see. So you're splitting there. This fort should be down pretty quick, honestly. We're already at 28% on that. 42 now. Unfortunately, we did lose our god general Hemi, which is unfortunate. We didn't capture... Wow, we didn't actually capture... Um, or catch that Ming army. Oh, well. That is no big deal whatsoever. Let's start coring Samarkand. That's going to be just fine. At some point, this is going to go down. Oh, I think we bopped some Ming troops somewhere. Oh, yeah. Ghost or not found some Ming troops. We're currently sieging a fortress of Ming's already. Let's see. Siege of Gouda is over. Let's go ahead and get a fresh general on here. Who are we lacking? I don't see King Steve. So let's get King Steve his military commission, shall we? There we go. 552. Definitely solid. I can live with that. You don't have any siege, which is unfortunate. So you're just going to go in and back para up, basically, while he sieges. Oh, we killed that 8 stack. That was easy. Hey, we took this fortress, so let's continue sieging. Yes, we've taken one fortress from Ming. This is going to be a long war. I can already tell you that much right now. But I think it's time we built a manufactory. Yes. Yes, indeed. Our economy is doing quite spectacularly right now. I believe Ming's forces are in full retreat. I'm going to see if we can get... Uh, we're going to send Ghost Granat after this fort by himself. That may be a bit of a bold play, but I think we're going to be okay. This is a level 6 fortress. So Ming has upgraded some of his forts. All right, bunch of cores finishing up. That is lovely to see. Let's build these production buildings. Our income is healthy enough that I feel fine doing that. See if we can finish off this level 2 fort real quick up here in the north. I kind of don't like having Swert's army uh, so isolated up there. Para not making any siege progress on that first tick, which is unfortunate. He does have three siege, so I would have expected a little bit of progress at least. All right, there we go. This fortress has fallen. You guys are going where? You guys are going into a Rumi's 40 stack. Or a Rumi, Rumi 40 stack is, I believe, the adjective of our nation. Oh, hey, look, we're already going to start sieging the Tong down. How'd that happen? How'd that happen, Ming? Excellent news. Cavalry cost. Oh, hey. Um, we should probably reinforce this. No. No, we're not. No. <laughs> you are canned by. Have fun. Have fun, buddy. I, I don't want... Yeah, no, you're on your own, man. I'm not reinforcing that. You're, you're just... You're dead. <laughs> uh, do we stand by the Cadi? Um... Or do we lose a bunch of money? I think we can do that because, uh... There we go. Chengdu is down. Let's go up here to Zian. Or Zian. I I'm not sure how you would say that. One of the two. 
Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and get King Steve to follow up on Ghost or not so he can push further into the north. I think Parafrost is going to be on just fine down here sieging you, Nan. Let's go hit up Canton. I would love to take some land here. I think we would have coring range, but unfortunately, yeah, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I see a battle happening, possibly. So let's get some troops in the area for it. Hopefully they leave the Siege of Datong alone. That would be cool. Oh, hey, Russia's at war with Ming. That's kind of cool. I like seeing that. Ming is fighting multiple armies on multiple fronts, which is always nice. It's good to see the AI kind of stressed and pushed a little bit. <laughs> it's not like it really makes that much of a difference, let's be honest, but uh, we can say it does for the sake of, uh, I don't know, something. That's a good spot to hold. We're going to wait for Ming to get locked in. He's going here. As soon as Ming gets locked in, we are going in. Wait for it. Wait for it. There we go. Is Delhi going to be out of there? Or uh, Bengal going to be out of there? 23rd, 29th. Uh, yeah, that's fine. In fact, pair up March quickly. Get up there. Get up there, laddie. Ah, uh, Delhi, what are you, or Bengal, what are you doing? You fools. Okay, we're gonna chill here. I have reinforcements coming. Oh, this 40 stack would have been five. Fine, look at King Steve just coming in with the slaughter on the Ming troops. Can Para get there for the stack wipe? No, unfortunately. Oh, you got Glory Seeker, King Steve. That's pretty solid. That's a decent trade. I'm happy with that. Oh, what the hell? Yeah, Ming's got a lot of troops around here. <laughs> Very surprised Xi'an has not fallen yet. Perry, you can stop force marching. You don't need to do that anymore. Let's go ahead and just uh, kind of set up here and prepare to push on Beijing. Well, we do have a 50 sna stack. 50 snack. A Ming 50 snack. Hmm, yes. Yes, that sounds quite tasty. Sounds quite tasty indeed. We have a Ming 50 stack down here. I'm going to send Parafrost back to deal with that, honestly. Oh, come on. Can we get the siege? We are just wrecking Ming, though, at this point. Let's look at his... Uh... So, they've lost a lot of troops. We've we've lost 65,000 troops. I mean, a lot. some of that's to attrition, but we've annihilated 185,000 Ming troops so far. Which, let's be honest, it's not actually that surprising. To Nanjing! Go, Ghostronaut! Look at Theodoro doing work there. That's awesome. Uh, I hear Thrace is in need of a new Kadi. I believe so. Uh, let's see here. Manufacturing. Ooh, yes, we're building a manufacturing in a Silk Province. There's some more Ming troops annihilated. Good stuff. This is good stuff. Uh, let's see here. How are we doing on this mysticism, legalism? Let's go back towards piety. That is fine. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> I see a Ming stack to intercept and uh, annihilate. Surprise. Up. Oh. I am chasing you, Ming. You have a small stack. I will get you. Yes. Crush. Go, Ghost or Not. Slaughter them. Yes. Yes, good Ghost Redot, very good. I don't know why I went full Darth Sidious there. <laughs> it seemed appropriate. <laughs> I'd say this war is fairly well over at this point. That was fun though, we got to, uh... oh, we didn't get manufacturers, boo. We don't have a stack to uh, cover the backfield, sadly. Um, let's go ahead and proclaim a guarantee on Hasa that will be, that will allow us to Diplo vassalize them. Datong has fallen. Lovely. Go, Siege Beijing. Glorious. Theodoro go ahead, went ahead and picked up Wu Chang for us. That's quite nice. 
Nope, oh, Deli coming in here. I will uh, reinforce him because he might need it. Nope, oh, never mind. It's over. That was fun. <laughs> Honestly, that was a fun war. I will say that was definitely uh, a fun little flex of our power there. Our good, our good friend Deli required some assistance with uh, the Mighty Ming, and we, of course, were there to provide said assistance. Very glad to, uh, very glad to help you out there, Deli. Of course, I do expect a bit of help in return, but it's fine. All right, where did manufacturing spawn? I'm, I'm very curious. Wait, why? This is 20 dev. Okay, let's look at Constantinople. Oh, 49 development, manufactory. Karamont, 51 development, manufactory. Hmm. I don't know. What are the spawning requirements for it? Or is it too late? I think it's too late to check now. Oh, we need to start building universities, don't we? Are we to that point? Yeah, we're to that point. Constantinople. Oh, we can only build one. <laughs> That's not too bad. Yeah, that was a fun war. I quite enjoyed that, honestly. I quite enjoyed that. Here, right directly, we should be able to uh, annihilate Najd. I think we are going to designate Hassa a march. There we go. Excellent. Truce with Najd is up. Um, I'm fine with this. Look, we're going to get the armies back in position first. We have to march all the way back from uh, China at this point. So it's going to take a while. I notice we keep getting raided. Which is annoying. <laughs> the knights are still alive somehow. Do I have a CB against them? Like an anti-piracy CB? No. Um, idea-wise, yeah, we'll pick up uh, Diplotech 20 because I want that maximum promoted culture and the trade efficiency and range. Legalism. Done. Back up to 100. Excellent. Getting our full benefits there. Ooh, well-connected advisor cost. That's, well, that actually, the usefulness of that goes down as the game goes on, but uh, right now it should be pretty decent. Let's see. Trade efficiency, two skill, half price? Sure. Yep, cheaper. I like that. Very nice. So we are going to go ahead and revoke Bulgaria's march uh, status. I don't like doing it because of the stab hit, but at the same time, he's just not... He hasn't been the most... Like, I mean, his troops have been nice, but... I don't know. Our, our, my attention has just been to the east so much that we've never really gotten Bulgaria to where he should be, I feel like. Let's go ahead and pick up that Admin Tech 20. We can get massive amounts of new states. We'll, we'll get to it. We'll get to it. <laughs> we just uh, did a lot of admin work. So, actually, let's go ahead and check this out. So, far as, far as Stan, I believe that's this. Yep, core. Or state, I should say. Uh, follow this. Transox, I believe that is Samarkand. Very nice. Uh, Khuzestan. That is... I'm going to blindly click around because that's just what I do. Is that... It's the Gulf Coast. Khuzestan. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, and let's see here. States. Luristan is... Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and statify Luristan. And then, let's see. I do want to save at least one state. Oh, this is a state. No, this isn't a state. We'll state that. And then, yeah, that's it. Cool. Nice. So we have a bunch of uh, provinces to core. But, you know, I'm not actually that concerned. We'll wait another month and then we can make a couple extra cores. Truce with the Mamluks is up. There we go. Getting a few of them done already. Good stuff. Nobility, or our estates are a little unhappy. Of course, they're always unhappy. Um, here. Does that pacify you? No. Here, you get this two-manpower province. Um, you get this three-manpower province. You guys get... Uh, this... Yeah, sure. Okay. Problem solved, right? Nope. Nope. 
clergy still are not happy. Hold on. Gotta satisfy the clergy. There we go. Take it. Haha. -ha. We can take our next quantity idea, so I'm absolutely gonna do that. Still wanna work through quantity. The forces are slowly starting to trickle home, which is kind of nice. Kind of nice indeed. <clears throat> so Najd is allied to Yemen, Khorasan, Warsongali, and uh, the Mamluks. So we could go after, eh, we could go after the Mamluks. We could, if we went after Yemen, that would bypass. Hmm. I'd rather just declare war on Najd, although Hassa doesn't have any um, cores or any uh, claims there. So let's go ahead and set this as all land of vital interest. Because I would like to feed all of this to Hassa so that we don't have to deal with all of these little nations that have massive amounts of AE from us. Totally fine. Totally fine. Alright. If by some miracle the Mamluks actually manage to form Egypt, they probably need Gaza to do that, but if they manage to form Egypt, I'll probably subjugate them just just because. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's it just, just because I can. There we go. Two more provinces cored up. Um. Oh, excuse me. I don't know. We'll, we'll wait on the accepted culture for a moment. But on that note, we are going to go ahead and wrap things up here for today. So, as always, I would like to thank you for tuning in and spending a little part of your day here. It is greatly appreciated. If you're still enjoying the series, please do remember to drop a like down below as it really does help the channel out and subscribe for more Grand Strategy content in the future. If you would like to help support the channel monetarily, please do check out the Patreon link is in the description. And if you would like to become a part of a growing community on Discord, there is also a link to that in the description. As always, my name is Ori. I do hope you have a fantastic day and we will catch you in the next one.